Welcome to our tour of the City of London, where we find three different things that people will walk past every day and not realise how far back they date in history. Here we start at Pannier Lane, which is right by St Paul's Cathedral and also St Paul's Station. So right by the side of the Café Nero, you have this relief. And what it is, it's a boy astride what appears to be a pannier, or bread basket, from the French word pannier. The alley is so called because manufacturers of panniers were once based here to supply the bakers in nearby bread streets. Now underneath the relief, you have this plaque which says, When ye have sought the city round, yet still this is the highest ground. And beneath it the date, August the 27th, 1688. The inscription saying that this is the highest point in the city, but is actually incorrect because Cornhill is the city's highest spot. Now it's thought that the bias above it is actually older than the inscription plaque below. And what they think it signifies, it might have something to do with the Pannier Tavern or to commemorate the boys who used to sell the bread from the baskets here. Another thing it might mark is the site of the early medieval corn market. Whatever it signifies, it's thought that the bias comes from 1600s, the late 1600s after the Great Fire of London. But whatever it is, it's on a wall that most people walk past and don't even realise in the city of London. For our next place in London, we go to the other side of St Paul's Cathedral, but keep close by to here, Amen Corner, which leads to Amen Court for a ghostly tale. Now, unlikely as it may seem, this attractive tranquil court you're about to see is the city's most haunted location. It was built to provide accommodation for the nearby St Paul's Cathedral canons and scribes. But behind this wall was a passageway known as Dead Man's Walk, where condemned prisoners in the adjacent Newgate prison were taken along it to be executed and many were buried beneath the wall, which is the focus of the supernatural activity. One of the most famous of the hauntings is the so-called Black Dog of Newgate. This is said to be a large black shape which can be seen slithering along the top of the wall, its appearance accompanied by a nauseating smell. The Black Dog is thought to originate from an incident of cannibalism in the jail, during the famine in King Henry III's reign. The victim is claimed to have been a poorly prisoner whose ample meaty frame proved too tempting for other prisoners who were starving, and they killed and ate him. Subsequently, he took on the form of a dog to return to haunt his murderers and the place of his death. Those keep out signs, don't worry, I'm not going in. Right, let's go to our third place in the city. We're here on Cheapside, just down the road from the bank where it meets Wood Street, and we're here for something slightly unusual that everyone will see and go, well, it's just a tree, but it's no ordinary tree because it goes back and it's referred to as ancient. And here it is, and you can see all the buildings around it because it is listed and protected. Where the tree is located now was once within the churchyard of St. Peter's, one of the many churches destroyed by the Great Fire in 1666 and never rebuilt. In the late 1790s, it inspired William Wordsworth to write a poem, The Revere of Poor Susan, in which the natural world around Cheapside is reimagined by a girl hearing a thrush. The Wood Street Plain Tree, which this is called, is protected, and it rises above the surrounding buildings, which aren't permitted to be built higher than the tree, so to deprive it of light. Beneath it are a small series of shops which you can see, and you can see why they're actually built the way they are. If looking at London's history teaches you one thing, which is never to take anything for granted even a tree like this, here in the middle of the city of London. I hope you enjoyed our three pieces of history that are still there today in the city of London. And if you love things like this, then I've put a video link for you in the top right hand corner of another similar video. Enjoy.